Hundreds of thousands of Kenyans who have been caught in despair over the last two weeks after the Chase Bank saga are tonight going to bed with hope they will get some of their money next week. The Central Bank of Kenya has announced the troubled bank will indeed reopen and depositors will access their money up to a maximum of one million Kenya shillings. But as fate gave to Chase Bank customers with one hand, it appeared to take from Imperial Bank customers with another as a court in Mombasa stopped Imperial Bank from paying depositors until a petition by billionaire Ashok Doshi is heard and determined. The shedding of tears and gnashing of teeth by customers of Chase Bank could reduce soon at least for those who had less than a million shillings in their accounts. Agreed upon today at 8.30 this morning, 8.30 this morning, um, between KDIC, which is the receiver, uh, with KCB Bank Kenya Limited, which I'll just call KCB, on modalities to reopen Chase Bank in receivership in the next few days. It will be a big relief for at least 167,000 customers who will now be able to access 100% of their deposits. There were immediate reactions from Kenyans following this directive. Kama bangi kubwa kama hii nesa kufungwa. Yo ni shida hata kwetu, jutuna hatuta kuwa na imani na bangi. But the rich will still cry for a while longer as those with more than a million shillings in their accounts at the time Chase Bank went into receivership will still have to wait as they can only access up to a maximum of one million shillings. We will provide liquidity to make sure that this works. Chase Bank had been placed under receivership through the Kenya Deposit Insurance Corporation as the receiver manages after Chase Bank's failure to meet its financial obligations. A situation that seems to be repeating itself as Imperial Bank's top customers are still to receive portions of their deposits. Hizo bengi ndogo zimefanya hata watu wa chini kabisa tumejua mambo ya pesa kwa kuweka kwa bank, kuchukua loan. Sasa Chase Bank imeaibisha in a related development, a top Imperial Bank customer, Ashok Doshi, has secured orders barring Imperial Bank from paying depositors until his case is heard next month. Ashok argues that the payment scheme adopted by Central Bank of Kenya, allowing access to only a maximum of 1 million shillings, was denying depositors the right to their money. Ashok has at least 1 billion shillings in Imperial Bank. Abiyagina. KTN News.